So welcome to another episode of Spiral Physics Education. In this episode we'll be looking at um, mechanical work. Uh, before we get into that though, there are a few things that uh, you should have an idea of to get the most out of this episode. So um, you should have an idea about um, stores and transfers and uh, examples uh, of those. Um, have an idea about the principle of conservation of energy and that work is done when energy is transferred between different types of stores. So in this lesson we're going to be looking at mechanical work. The equation that we're going to use to calculate mechanical work, we're going to be doing something with about something about the unit of work and we're going to do some examples of work and discuss just a little bit about uh, other types of work that can be done as well. So let's have a look at uh, what mechanical work is. Well mechanical work is done um, when any forces are exerted in an object and specifically it's uh, done when a force is exerted on an object over a certain distance. So what we can do is we can use work is force times distance moved in the direction of the force, which seems like a very complicated way of saying force times distance, but it's very important that you are aware that it's distance moved in the direction of the force. So if we think about the units uh, of, of work, we mentioned the work in another video that work is measured in joules. Uh, however, in this equation, notice that we're, we're, we're calculating force and distance. So we're multiplying newtons by meters. So because we're multiplying newtons by meters, and we're getting work, and we know that work is measured in joules, then one newton meter must also equal to a joule. But we still talk about work being in joules. So let's have a look at uh, a simple example. Um, I'm going to start off by looking at a car exerting a force over a certain distance. And if we think about the equation, which we should write down first of all, we can see that the force is horizontal and the distance is horizontal. So they're both in the same direction. But when you're doing an exam, you should always start off by writing the equation down. Then substitute in the different values, plug those into your calculator, and you get an answer. Now, usually with uh, energy, um, the numbers can be quite large. So um, if you're confident with standard form, try to write your answers down in standard form. That way, you'll make fewer mistakes. Let's have a look at another example. In this example, uh, we're going to be looking at a crane. So instead of um, moving something horizontally, we're going to be moving something vertically. And uh, again, the first thing that we do is write the equation down. We've got to, back, in the back of our minds, think about distance moved in the direction of the force. So if we look here, we've got a vertical force, and we've also got a vertical distance, so everything's okay. So we can substitute those two values in, plug those into our calculator, and we get a large-ish number, and if you're confident with standard form again, I suggest that you put them into standard form. So that's the sort of thing that you should be writing down in an exam to maximise the marks that you get um, when, you do, when you do your final exams. Let's have a look at a more complicated example there. So here we've got uh, a father pulling up a sleigh up a hill. And um, straight away, we write our equation down. But the complicated thing about this one is that there are three different distances involved. There's only one force. So it's got to be that 600 newtons. But in the definition of distance, it's the distance moved in the direction of force. So this force is being um, is directed diagonally up the slope. So we need a diagonal distance up the slope. So it's the 10 meters that is it is paired with the 600 newtons. So if we multiply 600 by 10, we get 6,000 joules or 6 kilojoules or 6 times 10 to the 3 joules if you're confident with standard form. So there are other types uh, of work as well as mechanical work. 
Um, one of the main ones uh, that we deal with is uh, electrical work. So anytime there's a circuit, um, then we would uh, say that electrical work is being done in the circuit. And any time um, there is heating or cooling taking place, then we also say that thermal work is being done. Well, I hope you found that lesson uh, helpful. Uh, do come back to, uh, to look at other videos um, uh, on, on my channel, Spiral Physics Education. And um, I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much.